So sniffers have been added to Minecraft as an extinct mob that the player has to revive. This means that long ago, sniffers used to roam the earth in their very own biome. I have decided to bring the species back and build the long lost sniffer biome. So just a quick note, I'm really sorry guys if episode 2 took a bit more time to come out. So basically recently I lost my dog, so I took a bit of time for myself because I was really lacking motivation. I was, you know, just not feeling great. So I hope you'll forgive me for posting this video a bit later than I had planned. So first we need to figure out what blocks we can use for the sniffer biome. I was actually thinking we could use the three main colors on the sniffer. So we've got kind of green and blue tints, I would even say turquoise. And then we've got the red and of course the yellow. So we're gonna start off with the green and blue tones. Sniffers seem to like moss pretty well because for example when you place an egg on moss it hatches quicker. So the first green block we're gonna collect is moss. Oh, and right before I forget, we're gonna get looting three on the diamond sword because I don't want to accidentally enchant something else. So yeah, time to quickly feed all the animals. Yeah, I've got to admit, I didn't just feed the animals, <laughs> but I guess we need looting three. So yeah, I'm just gonna make a second diamond sword and hopefully I will get sharpness four or five later on. So if you remember well, in the last episode, we found a skeleton spawner. So I was thinking we could turn it into a farm, like that I can get loads of bones for getting plenty of moss. So we've spawned in a warped forest, so this is actually really perfect because I was planning on collecting these blocks for the biome. Oh, and there is actually a crimson forest over there. But yeah, first of all, let's go find some soul sand. Oh my god, no. Well, that was a close call. <laughs> well, someone is enjoying the jacuzzi. Now that we've got the soul sand, let's head back to the overworld before I get killed by these guys. Okay, so quite a few endermen have decided to ruin my world <laughs> with their blocks. I think we've got everything for the farm, so let's head down to the spawner. So we're gonna start off by removing the chests, and now we're gonna dig all around the spawner. So here is the result of the skeleton farm. So I got super lucky because I ended up right next to the staircase that goes back up to the surface. So yeah, now we've got unlimited bones and it's a great XP farm as well. So now uh, time to get some moss. So I'm just gonna turn all these bones into bone meal and then we can place down the moss block and spread it everywhere. So for mining all that moss, I was thinking the best thing would be to make a diamond hoe and enchant it with efficiency four. So this is really handy because I now have an XP farm. So let's go down there. So now we can collect all this moss. Oh yeah, quick note, I am indeed destroying a place that is near my house, but that's not really a problem because I was planning on building the biome around here, so yeah, it'll be covered up anyway. So we're done with the moss for the moment because anyway, I've got plenty of bone meal if I need some more. For the second type of greenish blue block, we're gonna head over to the nether. So I was thinking that this block, the warped wart block, which is actually a block that I find 
quite difficult to pronounce for some reason. But yeah, I was thinking it would look great in the sniffer biome. So let's get collecting. I actually just remembered the existence of armor trims. So first we need to make a smithing table. Then we can place a smithing template, an item of armor, and then an ore like emerald, copper, iron, etc. So I could have just chosen the same ore for everything, but no, I had to end up looking like a Christmas tree. So let's get back to mining the block I cannot pronounce. Warp warp block. During my mining expedition, I had to deal with a few ghosts, and I also noticed that there were loads of endermen in a corner, so I decided to start farming them for the ender dragon fight, and I accidentally hit a pigman yet again. And now, we're gonna go get a bunch of leaves. We're done with the first color, so now we can move on to the red. For that, we're gonna go collect nether wart blocks. I really like them because they're already textured and they look a bit like, you know, the red wool on the sniffer's head and legs. Now that we've got a few of these blocks, I'm also going to make some red concrete. So to make it easier to carry everything, I'm gonna go tame a donkey like that I can put a chest on his back. So I think I had seen a donkey nearby, but now I'm not really sure where he was. There he is. For the red dye, we're just gonna get a bunch of these rose bushes and we can just bone meal them and get loads. For the sand, we're just gonna dig up this entire area. So we've got the red dye and we've got the sand. Now all we need is some gravel. Oh, and we've got a bastion right here, so I'll probably explore it later on when I want to upgrade to netherite. Let's craft the concrete powder. We're done with the green, we're done with the red, now we can move on to the yellow. So I was thinking we could make some yellow concrete powder and craft some bamboo planks because they have a yellowy color. Oh, and by the way, I need to choose the names for the sniffers as well as the camel. I actually chose the names that were the most suggested. So this sniffer here is called Bob and Bob's girlfriend is called Sniffy. As for the camel, I chose a name that goes very well with the adorable little ears. We're actually gonna call him Wiggles. I'm actually gonna take Wiggles so that he accompanies me while I go get loads of flowers. Yeah, I'm not even riding Wiggles. <laughs> I just like having him with me for company. Next, let's get the bamboo. Oh, and if you've got any name ideas for the donkey, you can leave them in the comments below and I will choose my favorite in the next episode. Okay, so it's time to destroy this lovely bamboo forest <laughs> to get some yellow blocks. Oh, and it looks like we have a little ocelot friend. And we've got a very happy panda right here. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I'm really sorry I'm taking all the bamboo. <laughs> yeah, not gonna lie, I know this is just Minecraft, but I'm kind of feeling bad about destroying the natural habitat of these poor animals. And it just reminds me of what actually happens in real life. So yeah, I guess I'm just taking a moment there to raise a bit of awareness. And I'm also gonna put a few facts about that in the video. I continued collecting some bamboo and I even crafted a bamboo boat to see the new design. My tools were running quite low on health, so I decided to head back home and get mending as soon as possible. So now that we're done with all the colors, we can get to planning out where we're gonna build the biome. 
I was thinking we could have the biome around here like that. It's close enough to my house and I will actually have a view of, you know, all the sniffers. So I thought that would be nice. We could maybe have like a huge hole in the ground and the biome would be inside. So first we're gonna get rid of all the sugar cane and the crop farm, and then we're gonna get terraforming. Here is the outline of the biome and now we're just gonna dig everything out on this side and then terraform on that side. So my tools are looking pretty bad, especially my shovel and my sword. So yeah, it's time to get mending there because I'm not gonna be able to finish all that if I don't get it. And now it's time to start placing the lectern and breaking it and placing it again. Yeah, I love this moment. It's just so fun. Okay, so I'm gonna try to not hit you. Uh, I'm not very good at that. But please give me a mending book. I've been at it for so long. This is very nice to see. We finally have a mending book. So I managed to get a really good axe and I'm actually gonna merge them so that I can get efficiency five. But first I'd like to get sharpness four on my sword that I will merge with my looting three sword. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you'd like to waste your levels like me, <laughs> don't forget to name all your tools. It's very important. Let's put Jerry to work and dig everything up. Maybe I should go and start breeding the sniffers because I'd like to actually populate the sniffer biome later on. I was actually thinking maybe I could do a bit of terraforming on the other side. To incorporate the sniffer biome into the scenery, I started to terraform the side so that it looked as much as possible like a naturally generated hill. Now I ran into a small issue. For the next part of the video, I have only recorded the images and literally no sound. As I wasn't feeling very good and my mind was preoccupied, I just didn't notice that the sounds in OBS were disconnected. So yeah, it's just great. So I'm going to be spending a lot of extra time redoing the voiceover and recreating an okay audio using sound effects and music. And I really hope that your viewing experience will be all right. Now that we're done digging up all the area where the sniffer biome will be, it's time to work on filling it in. So we're gonna start with the ground and I was thinking we could use some nether wart blocks. I of course underestimated the amount of red blocks I needed, so I headed back to the nether to get some more and I realized I could just get some crimson nallium and then bone meal some red mushrooms like that I can collect a bunch of warp blocks in the overworld. Okay guys, I was thinking why not bring down the sniffers so that they can have a look at, you know, their future home and kind of judge me from above. That could be funny. Now let's head back to a super fun activity, mining red blocks non-stop. Yeah, I'm absolutely loving this. 
It's quite handy having the snippers here because I can just breed them from time to time and I can gradually get more and more sniffers for the biome. Okay, so now I'm actually gonna get some of the blue blocks and also some yellow blocks. So Mr. Donkey will help me for that. The reason is I actually realized that, you know, making the ground entirely out of red blocks would just be too red. So we're gonna have the outer rim out of blue turquoise blocks and then the red and finally in the center we will have a yellow circle. So for the moment I marked it with a yellow cross. So surprisingly filling up the floor with red took way more time than I had expected because of course I wasn't prepared well enough. I mean this is very typical for me, not gonna lie. So to help me out a bit I extended you know the yellow circle in the center and I continued mining a bunch of warp blocks again and again and again and finally I was done with the entire ground of the biome. Oh, and guess what? It looks exactly like a target. Great work, Tootsie. Yeah, I guess if sniffers were professional archers, it would be perfect, but I highly doubt that. I'm starting to get a bit fed up of how slow my hoe is, so we're gonna level up to efficiency 5, like that I can just insta-mine all the blocks. And of course, I want to use up some levels for no reason, so we're gonna name the hoe Betty. This is much better. I'm just gonna get a bunch more blocks in a way shorter time. I'm kind of realizing I should have done this from the start but oh well I have done quite a few mistakes in this video <laughs> and it's probably not going to change in the future. So we're now going to work on the walls of the biome and I was thinking we could get inspired by the design of the sniffer egg. So we're going to start off with a basic red base using some wart blocks as well as some crimson logs. And now that we're done, we can just go in and dig a few holes and add in some warped wart blocks. This is impossible. <laughs> but yeah, basically this will mimic all the spots on the side of the sniffer egg. This baby sniffer actually wandered off, so I was thinking I'm actually going to bring him down to the biome, even though it's not done. Like that we'll just have, you know, a sniffer wandering about and watching everything I do. That could be funny. Yeah, we're gonna name this little guy Charlie. He's gonna be the very first sniffer in the sniffer biome. This is just a very important moment. Guess what happened at this point? I obviously ran out of blocks yet again, but I'm sure by now you're used to it. So yeah, here is the finished result guys. It looks a bit crazy for the moment. There's like a lot of colors, but don't worry, it'll get better later on. So yeah, it's meant to look a little bit as though the sniffer biome was inside a sniffer egg shell. Oh, and you know what? Let's go ask Charlie what he thinks of his new home for the moment. Yeah, I'm sure Charlie had something really nice to say because the biome looks beautiful. <laughs> But yeah, now it's time to move on to a way more interesting part, the decorating and the actual creation, you know, of all the plants and the different things that would be in the sniffer biome. I'm also planning on building a huge sniffer statue in the middle of the biome. So for that, we're actually going to collect a bit of mangrove wood. Let's have Patches accompany us on that journey. Yeah, I kind of forgot there was a huge ocean separating the mangrove from the mainland. So I'm sorry, Patches, I'm going to have to leave you here for the moment. Okay, so here is the mangrove biome. I'm not actually gonna chop down loads of wood here. I'm just gonna get a bunch of propagules like that I can grow them back at my base. So the first thing I'm going to add is moss because we all know that sniffers adore moss. So for that, I'm planning on building, you know, little hills made out of moss and I'm gonna add a few azalea bushes as well as some of the new flowers that came in the 1.20 update. 
To merge the hill into the bright colored ground, I decided to add the impossible to pronounce blocks all around. So here is the finished result, and I'm sure that Charlie really enjoys having moss in his biome because for the moment, there wasn't much. I then added four more of these moss hills all around the outside of the biome. Oh, and I did run out of moss, but I mean, you're on Tootsie's channel. And I'm never prepared, but you know, <laughs> it's no big deal. I also planted a bunch of the new plants so that I could decorate all the hills with them. Finally, this huge red, blue and yellow mess looks a little bit more like an actual biome. Now, let's move on to building some custom plants. As the three sniffer colors are very bright, I was thinking we could create some custom mushrooms as well as some trees. For making the mushroom stems, I was thinking we could use some quartz because we can make, you know, stairs and slabs out of them, so it's a bit easier for building. And of course, the white stem will contrast a lot with the top of the mushrooms. I'm also getting some gold and glowstone because I'm sure it's gonna come in handy at some point. We're gonna start off the custom plants with huge blue spruce trees and I will actually be using the same blocks as the warped forest and later on I'll be making some crimson trees as well. For building the spruce trees we're gonna start with a stump and then we're gonna bring it up and all around I'm gonna place um, the blocks I hate pronouncing in a sort of star shape and then I'll add a few random blocks so that it's not too symmetrical. So here is the first tree and it looks exactly like I wanted it to be, which is perfect. And we're gonna build a second tree on the other side of the biome. Next, we can move on to building the mushrooms. So first of all, I need to turn the yellow and red concrete powder into actual concrete. So we're gonna pile all the way up and jump. Hopefully I won't die. <laughs> and now we can mine everything. Yeah, I just realized Charlie is all alone in the biome. So we're gonna bring down a second sniffer. We're gonna call this guy Carlos. Now for the stem of the mushroom, I'm basically going to make it a bit rounded so we can place some upside down stairs all around. And now for the top, I'm just gonna use this yellow concrete to make it look as much as a mushroom top. I ended up making it all wonky, so I quickly corrected that. We've got our first mushroom done, so now I'm going to repeat everything over here, and we're gonna do a red mushroom this time. Now for the third mushroom, I wanna make it blue, but I also wanna make it quite different. So it's gonna be quite a tall mushroom and there's gonna be another mushroom sticking out on one side. To make my huge mushrooms even more mushroomy, we're actually gonna add a few white dots on top. Slowly, the sniffer biome is looking more and more like an actual biome animals could live in, which is what I was going for and not just a giant target practice. At that point, Betty wasn't doing too good, so I decided to heal her. Yes, I'm talking about my hoe as if it was a person for some reason, but on the good side, I was able to add protection four on my chest plate. So the reason I repaired my hoe was because I'm planning on building some little pathways that go all around the biome. This is good because it's going to blend the very bright yellow center in with the two other colors. So yeah, I guess we went from a target over to the sun. <laughs> I'm not sure it's much better. So we've added all these little custom plants, but the floor is just looking way too flat, way too boring. So I'm going to add a bit of nallium here and there, and then by bone mealing it, I will basically add loads of small plants on the ground. So it will look way more like we've got some proper blue and red grass. Okay, so I think we're done with the grass. As you can see, it looks way more natural like that, which is perfect. Right before we're gonna build the huge sniffer statue, I'd like to build a huge sniffer egg. For the block palette, I will be using red and green concrete, but the problem is I've got no green dye and the desert is like 4,000 blocks away. But I guess we don't really have a choice, so off we go on a super long and boring journey. Yeah, this is so fun. 
finally, we're at the desert, so let's get some cactus. Oh, actually, I will get a bit of sand as well for making the concrete powder. And now, let's do the entire journey back home again. Now that we're back, I'm just gonna pop the cactus inside a furnace to get loads of green dye. So all we have to do is pile everything up above the ocean and then we can mine everything. Let's get building. So this is actually not a very difficult build. It's just basically a huge 3D rectangle and I'm actually just copying the real egg because it just makes it easier to know where to put the green spots. Finally, I've got the game sounds back in and we can hear me as well. <laughs> which is which is quite nice. So as you can see, I left a gap right here because we're going to build a sniffer statue. So for that, I'm going to get my three main colored blocks, but also some darker ones for the sniffer's toes. So we're almost done with the palette for the sniffer statue, but I will chop down a few more mangrove logs because we will be needing quite a few. So we're gonna start off by tracing out the outline of the future Sniffer statue. So we're gonna start the first leg around here. And I'm actually going to have to destroy this mushroom because, yeah, the Sniffer is going to have a bit of a weird face otherwise. One, two, three, four, five, get six, six. And now we can mirror the first side onto the second one. Now I'm just going to check the statue's size just to make sure it'll fit well in the biome. Yeah, I think that's a good size, like the sniffer isn't too big to overpower the biome, but we can still see him pretty well. Step two is basically building everything up. Now we can work a bit on the beak. So yeah, off we go, piling up again. So I'm gonna build the beak by basically using yellow concrete, and then I will also add a line for the mouth using some spruce. And for the nostrils, I will use a mix of spruce and oak wood. Now that we're done with the head as well as the body, we just need to add, you know, that sort of green wool on top of the sniffer. So I was thinking we could use a mix of moss as well as leaves. Okay, great. I actually needed to bring the top out a little bit. So yeah, we're gonna have to destroy and rebuild everything. So now that we're done filling the top with leaves, we're gonna merge, you know, that bottom red part with the upper part. Oh, and by the way, for the inside area, I was thinking I would make it nice and comfortable for the sniffers. It could kind of be their shelter, for example, when it's raining and they want to come in. As for this side right here, I'm actually going to extend the red and turquoise pattern a bit to make like a path and I will also build custom crimson trees kind of growing out of the top of the biome. I was thinking we could bring the sniffers down to the biome and I'm also going to place two eggs on top of the sniffer statue like that. There's gonna be like sniffers walking on top of it. The sniffers already have a wide variety of food but I will give them some extra water. I spent the entire episode repairing my hoe with diamonds but yeah, I think we're done with that. So I'm gonna head over to the village and I'm finally going to get mending on my hoe. 
As I don't have many red blocks left, I'm quickly gonna pop back into the nether for like the 100th time this episode to get loads of wart blocks. I'm actually also going to add some cherry blossom trees to decorate all the outside of the biome as if it was inside the cherry blossom forest. And I was thinking we could maybe plant some bamboo all around the biome, I just think it would look a bit more wild and natural. On that note, let's get back to building a few more red trees. As you can see, I'm making the tree trunk a bit more slanted to the side and then I'm adding some work blocks all around, a little bit randomly and a little bit precisely, just to get a nice natural shape and not make it look too symmetrical. Finally, we are done building all the trees and it really makes it look that much more awesome. As you can see, I added some of the new flowers as well as some cherry blossom leaves because it gives a bit more contrast. Now, the last things I want to add is a little bit more vegetation on the upper part of the biome. So we're definitely going to add some mushrooms next to the red trees. And of course, I will be using the same three colors. So we're going to have yellow mushrooms, red ones and blue ones. We are finally done with the sniffer biome. It looks really vibrant and really awesome. And I know that the sniffers are going to live super well in it. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you've got any ideas for the next episodes, you can leave them in the comments below. By the way, if you enjoy this video and you would like to see more content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm actually going to end this video with a walkthrough of the biome so that you can have a look at all the details. So yeah, all that said, I hope I will see you in the next video. Love you.